So the to second topic we want to talk about is relative motion. So this is the idea, you've all experienced this, right? If you're standing still and you watch a car pass you, it's moving at one speed. If you're moving in a car and that car passes you, it seems to be moving slower, right? That makes sense because you're moving in the same direction as that car. If you were moving the opposite direction of that car, the car would seem to be going faster. That's relative motion. Mathematically, what that is, is simple vector subtraction. All right, so p position wise, you've got the position of B relative to A is the position of B minus the position of A. Velocity, velocity of B relative to A is the velocity of B minus velocity of A. And the acceleration of B relative to A is the acceleration of B minus acceleration of A. So a couple of things to notice, right? This notation B slash A means it's whatever of B relative to, to A. So if I'm an observer at A, I see B it moving at this velocity or position or whatever it is. All right. Um, the other thing to remember is it's the first minus the second. So B relative to A would be B minus A. B slash A, B minus A. If it were vice versa, V A slash B. So the velocity of A relative to somebody at B, it would be V A minus V B. How do you solve this? Well, it's simple vector subtraction, which is the same as vector addition with some negative signs in there. So if you can write each of the vectors in their component forms, then you just subtract the two from each other. You could also use geometry and use the law of sines or the law of cosines. So let's take an example of this. All right, we've got one car that's turning the corner and one car that's going straight. All right, so those are our two cars. We're told that car B is accelerating and car A is not accelerating. It, well, it's got a constant speed. It is accelerating because it's going around a corner, right? Remember from last lesson, the acceleration of a car that is making a curve has two parts. It's got the, in, in normal tangential coordinate systems, right? It's got the change in velocity part, which is the tangential part, and it's got the change in direction part, which is the normal, the, yeah, normal part. So we'll see that in a second. So let's write this out. VB is most easily expressed in the I hat, J hat, coordinate system. So here is the I hat J hat coordinate system. All right, so VB only has an I hat part, 65 I hat. The acceleration of B is also given. It's accelerating, must be accelerating in the direction it's going, right? So it's also only got an I hat part and it's 1200. All right, so now let's look at the blue car, car A, which is turning the corner. So I'm going to use, for car A, I'm going to use the normal tangential uh, coordinate system because it's on a curve or given the radius. So that would be the one that makes most sense. All right, so normal tangential coordinate system we would have the normal along the direction of A, so I'm going to draw that that way. That's U, T, sorry, the tangential. And the normal would be perpendicular to that, pointing in towards the radius of curvature, along the radius, uh, along the radius of curvature. All right, so that would be U, N. Oops, U, N. All right, the angle that was given is this one up here, that's theta. So if that's theta, so is this one. And if that's theta, then so is this one. All right, we're gonna use this diagram in a second to translate our normal tangential coordinate system to our ij coordinate system. But for now, let's write it in uh, normal tangential. So VA is going to equal 
20, which is its speed, right, in the tangential direction. And nothing in the normal tangent uh, direction, because velocities are never in the normal t direction. All right, AA, we're told there is no change in speed. It's a constant speed, so there's no tangential direction. And the normal direction is going to be v squared over rho in the normal direction. Well, v, v is given, is 20. So that's 20 squared over 100 meters. The 20 was in kilometers, so this is going to be 0.1. So A is 4,000 in the normal direction. Now, in order to subtract these two to find the relative, they need to be in the same coordinate systems. So now we're going to use this figure over here to relate these coordinate systems. The unit vector, un is a unit vector, so it's length 1. So let's write length 1, unit vector length 1, in terms of i and j. And we'll use theta and then we'll plug in 45. I, the 45 goes either way, so it's much easier, but I want to do it generically so you know how to do this. All right, so un, normal direction, it's got this much of it along the i hat. All right, so that would be cosine of theta in the i hat, which is because it's adjacent to the angle. And it's got this much of it in the j hat, right? So that's opposite the angle. So plus sine of theta j hat, both positive. Ut is going to equal, the i hat's going to be negative, and it's opposite the theta, so it's sine of theta i hat. And the j hat is positive, and it's adjacent to the theta, so plus cosine, cosine theta j hat. Okay, so... Now that we have the relationship between the normal and tangential and the i and j's, we can write our va and our aa as in i's, i's and j's. So va is tangential, so that's the bottom one. So va is going to be 20, negative 20, sine of 45, i hat, plus 20, cosine of 45, j hat. aa is going to be normal, so we're going to use the top one here, is 4,000 cosine of 45 i hat plus 4,000 sine of 45 j hat. All right, now we're looking for velocity and acceleration of A with respect to B. So velocity of A with respect to B is VA minus VB. All of these are vectors. Acceleration of A with respect to B is AA minus AB. All right, both vectors. So now we've got, to plug these in here, VAB is going to equal VA, so the i hat of VA is negative 20 sine 45 minus VB 65 uh, i hat, and that makes sense, right, because the 65 is one direction, the 20 is, part of the 20 is in the opposite direction, so it looks like it's faster, all right, so that the sum, your, well, a negative minus a negative, minus a positive. All right, then the j hat parts, the vb doesn't have a j hat part, so all we have is plus 20 cosine 45 j hat. And then a, a, b is going to be the i hat parts, or 4,000 cosine 45 minus 1200 i hats plus 4000 
sine 45 j hat. These then are our answers, and you could plug them into your calculator and actually get numbers for them.